Testing your skills as a software developer is an essential part of understanding what you really know. Just watching a tutorial can give you a false sense of security. It isn't till you actually implement what you were learning that you know how much you really grasped. Waiting to do this until an interview or at your job is a recipe for disaster. Unfortunately, testing your knowledge is something people often struggle to do well. Well, I have a solution for you. I've been working a way to test your skills in a manner that exposes your weakness and builds you up in those areas. For those of you who've been around this channel for a while, you may remember the weekly challenges. That was the goal of the challenges. Unfortunately, due to the vast nature of C Sharp, not every challenge was applicable to every person. So what I did was I took the content from the weekly challenge and grouped it by topic. The result is four new courses that I call prove it courses. A prove it course is all about proving to yourself that you know what you think you know. Now each course will have a dozen or more challenges. Each challenge will lay out the outcome you need to achieve. Then you do the work to prove your knowledge. When you're done, you come back and watch how I would tackle the problem. The end result is that you get the practice you need, which helps you discover where you're strong and where you still need some work. Plus, you get trained how I would approach the problem, including those areas where you struggled. Let's take a look at the four courses. Now here I am at IamTimCorey.com. If we go to all courses, we're gonna see that right down about halfway down the page are the four new courses right here. Now we're doing some work and we're actually in the middle of rebranding our site. And so these new courses actually have some kind of data points right on the slide to help you identify where it is in the learning process. You'll see in the lower left-hand corner, these three dots. Now the last dot being filled in indicates that this is a kind of like a practice, a, a real world trial to make sure you understand what you've learned. This is not the getting started course, which you'll find, for example, um, there's probably one up here, getting started. Nope, there's not. We haven't rebranded those yet. So, but the getting started course is would have that first bubble filled in because they're the start of the process. The third bubble being filled in means it's kind of the end of the process. This is not about learning, for example, C Sharp basics. It's about having learned the basics of C Sharp. Now you want to test yourself to make sure that you really grasp the concepts. So this is the first prove it course. Let's go ahead and open this up and look at what's inside of it. Notice it says $49. That may be different in your area based upon that. That will add to that price. So down here, you'll see the course curriculum, which you can expand. And this will show you all the different pieces of this curriculum. So for example, we have a bulk file renaming challenge. And up here we have generics challenge. These will not be super simple challenges. There'll be challenges that really stretch your knowledge and make sure that you understand the various pieces of what you've learned in C Sharp Basics. Now, the way you use this course is you're going to go into the challenge, you're gonna take the challenge, you're gonna get a PDF, which will give you all the instructions. I'll walk you through it. I've redone all those videos to make sure they're very clear on what you need to do in order to complete the challenge. You'll stop right there, you'll do the work. If you have to, go use my YouTube channel, go use other resources to kind of learn what you have to to fill in those gaps if you find right away that you're missing something. But then, once you've done the project, you come on back and you watch the solution video. The solution video, depending on the solution, might be 15 minutes long, it might be an hour long. But what it's gonna do is it's gonna lay out, here's how I would do it. And I'll talk through the best practices, I'll talk through the things to avoid, what not to do, as well as what the, um, the important pieces of this puzzle are and how I go about solving it. So that way, after you've kind of worked your way through, hopefully getting all the way through with no problems, but even if you had to do some training on the side, once you have your product done, you can see how I would do it and really fill in any gaps you had that you were missing 
in that process, okay? So this is the C Sharp Basics. It's about, you know, for each all the way through file extensions, generics, um, parameters, unit testing, WPF, WinForms, console, unit testing. There's a lot in here. There's 16 challenges in the C Sharp Basics, prove it. Now, next up is the C Sharp Web Development. Now, this web development focuses mainly on Razor Pages, API, and MVC. Those are the three it's going to focus on. It's not going to focus on Blazor Server or Blazor Web Assembly. We're going to do that separately in a separate Prove It course. So, there are 12 challenges in this web course. Again, expand this out, look through what it is, publishing, using it with Docker, setting up a form, doing file uploads in Razor Pages, to do apps and so on. That's the web development. Then there's C sharp algorithms and data structures. This is kind of the, the uh, structure you'll see in some job interviews. This is not going to be the exact things you find in a job interview, but these are the logic type puzzles you'll see in some job interviews. For example, finding prime numbers, word count challenges, list modification, link, file management, caching, searching for data, palindromes, fizz buzzes in here, and so on. So there's a lot of different challenges in here that will walk you through kind of that working through logic. It's not about the, the UI. It's not about data access. It's really about having a logic puzzle and being able to solve it with C-sharp. So that's going to test your knowledge in C-sharp logic. I highly recommend that. And then finally, we have building a full app. So what we did is in these 17 challenges, I broke apart building an application into 17 steps. And I said, okay, we're gonna do these one step at a time. So each challenge is gonna build upon the previous challenges. So we start off with planning. How do you plan well for a project? It's not just about starting with opening Visual Studio. It's about starting with a good plan. So how do you do that? Then we develop the interfaces. We develop unit tests, and this is all before you write any C-sharp code, just the interfaces. So we've already set up, this is a test-driven development process. We write the tests first, then we write the code. That's where we get down to the methods. We do data access, we do console, we do source control, continuous integration, then we add in razor pages. We do this whole user interface. This project is about creating a, a soda machine. And so we'll plan out the soda machine, how to build it, how we're going to execute it. And by the time we're done, we'll have a full deployed web application that can do both the client side or the, uh, the user side and the administrative side of a web-based soda machine. A little weird, I know, because we can't necessarily deploy a web-based soda machine, but maybe we could. Um, we'll also have a console application that runs parallel to that and uses the same data access. There's a lot of stuff tied into here in these 17 challenges that will really push your knowledge of object-oriented programming, of uh, web programming, of data access, test-driven development, and so on especially your logic as well, making sure it's all these pieces kind of come together into a cohesive whole. It's not a terribly long project. It's a probably, I would say seven or eight hours, maybe, maybe 10, but um, at the end of it, you're gonna have a project that actually does something in all the pieces of a real production application. So really cool project there as well. This is kind of like, after you have done the C Sharp basics and algorithms and web development, let's put it all together into building a full application. So those are the four new Prove It courses. I have created a Prove It bundle. So if you want to buy all four, then you can get the C Sharp Prove It bundle, which is a reduced price from buying them individually. Now, there will be more Prove It courses created in the future they will not be in that C-sharp bundle. So for example, when uh, Blazor Server and WebAssembly come out, the Prove-It version of that, 
that won't go into this bundle. This bundle is just for these four courses. So that's the new course structure I created, these prove -its. This is what's going to help make sure that you have the practice you need to really feel comfortable and confident in your C-sharp knowledge. I would highly encourage you to be practicing everything you learn in C-sharp. This is just one way to help you. You can do it on your own for sure. But if you need help, these Prove It courses are the way to go. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. We'll try and get back to you as soon as possible with answers. Um, this is available right now. If you're an All Access Pass member, you already have access to these four courses. If not, there'll be links down in the description to get to all these courses directly, or you can just go to imtimcorey.com slash courses and see all the Prove It courses as well as all the other courses that we have to offer. All right, thanks for watching. And as always, I am Tim Corey.